old Cuda body from the uh, hobby shop only uh, kit that I got back when they sold these in hobby shops. I think it's a Johan actually. The plastic's pretty brittle, just like Johan. It came with metal wheels in it, a set of metal wheels, an engine. The engine uh, I'm working on, the axle goes through the engine. I'm definitely not going to have that happen. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to build it that way. I'm doing this because uh, I want to show John Paul that I can actually paint something. I'm picking the uh, Folk Art Metallic Christmas Tree Green. Should be pretty nuts, colory looking. Mix the paint up per John instructions. Even past the age. Well, after a thorough cleaning of my nozzle, now I'm ready to spray again. Hold the model down for a second. There you go. Holy crap, sprays pretty good now. Wow, what a good cleaning from our nozzle does. Wow. in a long, long time, so bear with me, I still may screw this up. I may still screw this up. Every Mopar I know, the body color goes throughout. This is a cheaper model, so I'll do the bottom of it, not with body color. It's got a very low detail chassis. I was thinking of upgrading the chassis, but probably not. color on the inside and we give it a black. I have a regret about that. about getting it on your hands and latex, acrylic. But the clear, yeah, I'm gonna have to worry about the clear but not the uh the latex. That's looking good. I'm gonna do the hood and flat black. That looks pretty good there. I got the coverage everywhere. Open the valve up just a little bit to get one more coat. This is uh this one particular folk part is really heavy on the uh, on the metal plate. It looked nice on the spoon, so I figured I'd try this. 
let that dry out. Check out the little bit of body work that I did. Do it. Bad. Looks like it's gonna be okay with the body work. Sweet. All right, working with the Eastwood two to one European urethane clear coat. I got it in a small bottle right there. There's the activator. This is gonna go over the war base folk art. Jackson on it, and I don't want to get any of this stuff on my hands. to run now. up a little bit. Like that, if it wasn't for this spray boost, I couldn't do this. Let that sit. I'll give it another coat. Just can't beat that 2K clear over that folk art. They're just so damn shiny. Unbelievable. Well, I gotta use lacquer thinner to clean out the bottle. And clean out the brush. I'm gonna soak the brush pieces, parts anyway, in the same lacquer thinner. And I like to take a little bit of uh, paper towel and just reverse and bubble inside the bottle. That's percolated to clean out anything in it. So I still don't take it apart and soak it apart. Uh, I tried to paint the first time. The brush was so dirty it wouldn't let me. almost screwed up the paint job. Not going to let that happen again. Now it's just sitting in my spray booth, just airing out the fumes. Cannot believe that this is folk art. Look at this. This is folk art with 2K clear over it. It doesn't even need to be polished. Look at that. Unbelievable. Thank you, John Paul. Can't believe, John Paul, this, this thing does this so well a job. 
look at that. Now once it's hardened and it's completely dry, it'll be easy to detail out all the chrome parts and stuff on it. The hood I'm going to go, like I said, about back. I'll chrome out the little pieces that are there. A little bit of argent in there. This is a cheaper kit. It's not the, it's not the more detailed kit. So one of the reasons. But look at that shine! Incredible! Wow! This thing, if, if I don't screw the rest of this model up, it's going to look really nice when I get done.